toe tap today. Tap those toes. Good. And then get that hip involved, side to side. Good, just warming it up. All right, can you take it up and tap it? Tap toe, tap heel. Four, three, two, other side. So we start with that tap. Just tapping our toes like we're impatiently waiting. Maybe that's where you felt this morning when I wasn't on at the smack of 9.30. Tap it side to side. I just shut off the volume control for the other thing so I didn't have that echo. I don't like that echo. I'm a one-man band here. Got to do it all. All right. Then toe and heel. Toe, heel. Good, you got it. Hope you're doing well today. I'm glad you joined me. Ooh, I'm having a hard time on the side. Four, three, two, and the last one. Good, march it out. Let's push it out. Heel, swing it. Good, let's add it to a knee, transition to a knee. Take it at your own pace. If you need to keep it low, keep it low. If you need to do this seated, do it seated. All right, stretch it out with a kick. Stretch it out. Now lift it high. We got a little wet this morning in my first class at 8.30, but we, we made it. Finished about a minute early, but we made it all the way through. Let's do four, three, two, last one. Good, now side taps. Add that scarecrow arm up and down. Nice and slow, you don't have to do it fast. Squeeze that shoulder, squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze, four more, three, two, uh oh, I lost me, I think, last one, good, keep it going, march it out, oh my gosh, all right, march it here, all right, let's do some heels, oh, let's do toe taps right here, toe tap side, reach it, toe taps, reach it, I did check it. All right, here we go. All right, it'll be full for the rest of the day, though, won't it? All right, so bicep curls right here. Up, two, and down. To balance challenge, if you want to take it, shift your weight to one side. You can keep the toe lightly on the floor or keep it lifted, you choose. Good job. Two more. Last one right here. Good. Now put that foot on the floor. Wider base. We're going to lift. Unless you want to take that balance challenge. And then we lift that leg up. We shift the weight to the center leg. The one closest to the chair here. Good. And maybe for you it's not the same. Maybe it's your outside leg. But you know what I mean. Toe on the floor. That's a little bit of a touch point. Four more, three, 
two, last one, good. All right, now nice wide stance here. Bring those arms up. We're gonna make an X. Go up and down. X it out. Good. I don't know if it's a good thing. I'm starting out my week with my arms a little bit sore. We had an 80 foot tree fall in my yard. And yesterday we cut it up and dragged it back into the woods. So my arms are a little sore. My back's a little sore. Uh, I'm gonna add that to my resume, I think. Tree cutter, tree removal expert. How many have I done in the last two years? Almost 15, I think. Last one right here, you're thinking, will she ever finish with these? Right? I don't know. All right, easy tap right here. Lift it. Good, if the tap doesn't feel natural to you, you could stop the tap and just do the arms. Lifting the elbow in the back. Lift that elbow in the back. Good job. Working that tricep. Balance challenge with the feet. You know all that, right? Four more. Three. Two. Ooh, last one. Good. Now let's kick it back. Kick it back there. Balance challenge is the heel lift. Heel lift. Good. Heel lift. Good job. Four more. Three. Two. Last one. Good. Now tap it here. Just move those legs just a little bit. Bring them out wide. Good. Let's lift and bring it back. So I'm going to turn so that you can see right here. We're trying to tap those weights to the back. And you may or may not be able to do that. Good. Some of mine tap, some of them don't. Four more. Three. Two. Last one now. Keep them up and pulse them up. Pulse them up. They should be burning just a little bit, right? It could just be me, right? That could be too. Four. Three. Two, last one right here. We're gonna know lift the wrist, lower the wrist, lift, lower, lift, lower, lift the wrist. It's like we're doing the motorcycle, revving the engine. Right? Here we go, rev that engine. For four, three, two, last one. Good. Now let's lift that wrist a little bit wider. Hinge right at the hip, and when we hinge, that means the hips, ears, shoulders stay in line. I'm going to pause right about here, soft knees. We're going to pull, release, pull, release, pull. Squeezing those shoulder blades together, I'm looking at the floor. You don't need to look at me, I am here. If I, if I have to leave for anything, it's just to go get my joke is I left it on the table. Four more. Three. Two, last one. Now, let's give it a little bit of a break. Tap those toes. And we're coming right back to it. Nice wide position. Hinge at the hips, shoulders, ears, hips, stay in line. This time, palms are facing each other. We're going to lift it this way. Palms face each other, lift. Do you feel the difference? There is one. Good. Lift. Lower. Lift. Lower. Push that bottom back. Keep it nice and straight. Good. Four more. Three. Two. Last one. Good. Let's put those weights away. Let's grab our strap. Now, this next part you could do seated in the chair. If you don't feel stable standing on your strap, then you don't have to do that part. You could go ahead and sit and do this in the chair. So bringing those straps right underneath your feet.
There we go. Stand up nice and tall. So tap it to the side, shift your weight. Let's alternate, so watch your chair. Alternate, tap to the side. Good. I went walking this morning around the golf course and my shoes are relatively new. I've probably worn them about eight times. I bought the same color I had last time. Um, and they got so full of mud. Oh, I'm so disappointed. Cleaned them up a little bit. I have to wait till they dry out a little bit and take them home and get a good brush and get it. But just so you know, it's kind of mucky back there. Try not to do that back trail. All right, four more. Three. Two, and last one right here. Let's toe and heel. Now I want you close to the chair if you feel unstable here and making you balance on that one leg. Heel, toe. Now four, three, two, last one right here. Let's do the other side. Heel, toe, heel. Toe, heel, toe. Working the hamstring, the back of that leg. Good job. Notice we didn't go faster because this is harder because we're balancing on that one leg, right? Four, three, two, last one. Good. All right, now I'm going to come a little closer to my chair, too. So bring your legs a little wide. We're going to step, pull back, step, pull back, step, pull back. Working that hamstring, pull it back, pull it back, pull it back, pull it back. Good. Pull it back. Working those legs. We're not going to do this fast. I don't want anyone to fall. So my muscle isolation, right? Isolating that back of the leg, tap it to the back. If you feel unstable, do this in the chair. Let's do three more. Here's three, two, and last one. Good. Take your one foot out. Just take one foot out. Okay, so you have one foot in that strap. We're going to hold that strap with both hands. Good, so both hands holding that strap. Now, if your strap is too heavy, you can always drop one part of it. So whichever part that you want, inside or out. So we're gonna lift and pull, shifting your weight. Good, if you don't like the way that feels, then keep that foot on the floor and shift your weight. You don't have to do this step. You pick your level. Good. Oh. So of course when a tree falls in your yard, it has to fall on another ornamental tree, right? So it fell on one of the dogwood trees that we planted about 15 years ago. Broke it about halfway, but we think it might live. We'll see. Four more. It did not injure my tulip poplar, thank God. It's hard enough to get that thing. Let's do one more. Hold it right here, good. Now both hands on that strap, good. And we're gonna pull and bring it down. Notice that I'm shifting that weight slightly. Pull, bring it down. Pull, bring it down. Pull, good. Let's do four more. Four, three, two, last one. Now hold it right here in the middle, hold it right here. Can you lift it a little bit to the outside? Can you lift it a little bit more? Hold it. Hold your tummy in tight. One more time. Lift it. Hold it right here for four, three, two. Slowly bring it down. Slowly, slowly, slowly. All right. Let's do that other side. So that uh, foot goes on the strap. There we go. Watching your chair. If you wanted to, you could go to the other side of the chair. You choose. So we add that outside. The foot, remember, is an option. We could just shift and never lift the foot off the floor. You pick it. Good. 
bed. Four more. Three. Two. Last one. Good. Now both hands on that strap. We're going to go with it to the other side, keeping those elbows tucked in. We pull up. We bring it down. It's nice and controlled. I'm not letting anything snap back. I'm not doing anything fast. It's nice and slow. Working those muscles. Good, you got it. Four more. Three, two, last one. Now hold it here. Can you lift it a little bit? Tighten your tummy, that's gonna help. Lift it a little bit. Tummies are tight. One last time. Lift it. Hold it here for four, three, two, and slowly bring it down. Good. Carefully. Let's take that strap away. Come to the front of your chair. Have a seat at the edge of your chair. Good. Now just remember these next things that we're going to do. You don't have to do it. We are going to stand up off of the chair. So I want you to be mindful of that, and you don't have to do it. You can just keep doing something else. I'll show you what that something else is going to be. So we're going to jack stand. So it's jack, stand. Good. Jack, stand, jack, stand. Now, if this is too much, do every other. Just do the jacks. Just do the stand, or pick something that you like to do for the next five repetitions. We're going to do five more. Here's one. Nice and slow. There's two. There's three. There's four. Push through those heels. Last one right there. Good job. Woo! That'll get that heart rate up on it. Okay, let's grab your ball. We're going to put it right here underneath your feet. Switch yourself forward. Good. So we're going to roll. Bring it in. Roll. Bring it in. I'm putting my back on the chair, sitting up off that chair. Good. Roll. If you don't like the way the ball feels, don't use it. One, I would never know, right? Because I can't see what you're doing. And two, um, we don't want to hurt ourselves. We want to always do something that makes us get stronger, not more painful. Sometimes that happens when we can't help it, right? Some of those muscle soreness things, like the Pilates soreness the other day in the belly, normal, good for you. Because as long as it was just normal muscle pain, achiness, because we haven't used those muscles in a long time, Pilates is hard. Right? Let's do four more. Three. Two. Last one. Good. All right, now sit up nice and tall. Keep those feet on the ball. If you can, if you can grab your strap without um, taking your feet off the ball, but I'm going to have to do that. I'm going to have to turn. So if you have to turn, take your feet off the ball. So I want you to, to have something braced and you have a bed episode there. Good. All right. Take those straps underneath your armpits. Feet are still on that ball. Now, if you have those tiny balls, this is not easy to do, so don't, don't worry about the ball. Good. So right here, elbows are up. They're parallel with the floor. Let's push into the ball and lift. Push into the ball. Lift. Good. A little lean forward. Good. So what muscle are we working with that little lean forward, little lean back? The back muscle, right? And pushing into the ball is going to make you use the lower abdominals. And then we're working the tricep muscles up here with those arms parallel to each other and parallel with the floor. Good. Push into that ball. Good. Four more. Three. Two. Last one. Now right here, pulse into the ball, push up. Ooh, I feel that in my arms. Ooh. Push into that ball. Pulse it. 
Let's do four, three, two, last one. Keep the ball pulsing while we shake up those arms. Good job, four, three, two, last one. All right, let's put that strap aside for right now. Let's take the ball. We're gonna roll it heel to toe, sitting up nice and tall. Should I scoot back a little bit, but I think we're okay. Heel toe. Good. All right, right here, let's put that heel on the ball and pulse it down, pulse it working the back of that leg. Put that foot on the ball, let's push down, slowly lift up, push down, slowly lift, push, slowly lift, push, slowly lift, push, slowly lift, let's do two more, push, slowly lift, one last one, push, and slowly lift it, let's do that other side, roll it front to back, kind of stretching it out just that little bit, good. Two more. Last one, put that heel on the ball, pulse it. Good. Four, three, two, put on the ball. We push slow, slowly release. Push, slowly release. Push. Two more, push, slowly release, and push, and slowly release. Good job. All right, let's take that ball. Let's bring it up. I gotta dust mine off, so if you got a little dust on your floor too, we can dust them off together. We need to do a good sweep in here again. All right, let's bring that ball right here. We're gonna work on those muscles in between the arms here, the arm and the chest. So we squeeze, release, squeeze. Release, good, nice tall posture here. Squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, good. Squeeze, release, squeeze. Nice gentle fist, it's like you're gonna hold a piece of cotton in your hand. Oh boy. There it is, four, three, two, Last one, little pulses with that beat if you can hear it. Four, three, two, other side. Good, right here. Squeeze, release, squeeze, release. Gentle fist, gentle fist, squeeze, release, squeeze. Reach, reach, reach. A little stretch there too, I like that. And reach, 
and cold and reach and reach one more on each side is reach and reach and reach good all right let's roll those shoulders back a little bit of a shrug out all right and um, let's bring those feet right underneath us a little cat and cow right here so curl through that spine a little forward a little back of the pelvis we're tilting that pelvis good job so if you're going to join me for mat yoga today if you have blocks bring them along to class and um if you don't have a block maybe a couple of books that are about the same size or some pillows um, we're going to do a little bit of bending then so i want you to be able to have something to prop yourself up on if you need it so we're going to sit up nice and tall let's turn our head to one side bring it back to the center turn it to the other side Bring it back, let's tuck your chin. Ooh, breathe right into the back of your neck. Get a little shake of the head. Good, and bring that head all the way up. All right, let's reach one arm out to the side. Turn your head the opposite direction. the head back to the center let's take that shoulder and roll it we're going to grab the back of the chair and just lean a little bit to the side and then turn our head again let's come all the way up let's do that turn reach Bring the head back to the center, rotate through the shoulder, grabbing the back of the chair, lean and then turn that head again. Stretching through the neck directly. Okay, bring it all the way up right here. Uh, let's sit back, let's lift one leg up just for a second. Push that chest a little bit forward. Getting a little stretch into that lower back here. Right, bring that leg down. Let's do that other side. So hold it up there. Hold it up there. Push that chest a little bit forward. Feel that nice stretch. Good. Keep holding. Make sure we're breathing. Nice big deep breaths. Good. Uh, let's bring that leg down. And reach it back just a little bit. Oh, let's stretch them both out. Big stretch here. Oh, that feels good. Maybe we cross the other leg over. Keep that chin tucked down. Feel that stretch there. Good. All right, bring those arms down. So last week when I started reading these. These are so cute. Point and flex those feet. So these are um, four, four through eight-year-old kids who tell us what love means. So, um, Noel, age seven, says, love is when you tell a guy you like his shirt and he wears it every day. Tommy, age six, says, love is like a little old woman and a little old man who are still friends even after they've known each other so well. <laughs> Thank you. During my piano title, I was on stage and I was scared, said a little girl. I looked at all the people watching and saw my daddy waving and smiling. He was the only one doing that, but I wasn't scared anymore. Claire, age six, says, my mommy loves me more than anybody. You don't see anyone else kissing me to sleep each night. Elaine said, love is when mommy gives daddy the best piece of chicken. <laughs> Chris, age seven, said, love is when mommy and daddy, mommy sees daddy smelly and sweaty and says he's still more handsome than Robert Redford. And love is when your puppy licks your whole face, even when you've left him alone the whole day. 
That's Marianne, age four. And then Lauren, age four, says, I know my older sister loves me because she gives me all of her old clothes and she has to go out and find new ones. That's so cute. Thanks for joining me. I will see you back here.